The internet is full of weird and wacky ways to save you a little bit of money, even on something as simple as a mouse bungee. I'm Techify and in this video I'm going to be testing mouse bungee hacks I found online to find out whether they're worth doing or if you should just save up for a mouse bungee. So guys, let's get into this. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more then make sure you click the red subscribe button down below. So really quickly before we get started, what is a mouse bungee and why might you need one? A mouse bungee is just a really simple device to come in some different shapes and sizes but they all serve the same purpose. Ultimately, if you've got a wired mouse you want to reduce the drag of the cable, that may be directly in front of the mouse on the mouse mat, or on other objects, mainly and most commonly the back of your desk. As a result, mouse bungees are relatively cheap, you can pick up a very basic one that will do the job for just 4 or 5 dollars, and then something like this was close to 20 dollars, it's just a bit more solid and stays in place, but it does the same job. But why even spend that if you can get it for free? So. Let's jump straight into hack number one. So hack number one is probably the most common hack that I've seen and you may have seen before as well. And that's just gonna to be to take the cable to the top of the monitor. So I'm just gonna use a bit of black electrician's tape, but I'm sure a bit of sellotape, masking tape, anything you've got should work fine. So I've actually taped mine just behind the back of the monitor here as obviously I've got the buttons on the bottom so I didn't want to press those. Definitely I notice, and maybe I could make it a bit tighter if I didn't want to go as far back, is that I am still getting the tiniest bit of drag on the mouse pad. It's not too bad though, it's definitely better than before and certainly I'm not getting that drag on the back of the desk. In general, I think this is not actually a bad solution. This is a pretty good hack and if you don't have a mouse bungee and you want to see if you'd benefit from it, I'd definitely give it a go. I don't think it's the best looking thing and it's not perfect, it's not quite as good as a mouse bungee, but for considering you probably have some tape of some sort at home already, it's gonna be basically free, and for that reason, I'm gonna give this hack a seven out of 10. Now, this next method is one I don't think a lot of you will have seen before. I found it on YouTube, and I've not tried it before, I just know that it involves zip ties. I've given it a quick watch, but we're gonna watch it again together now and have a go at making this hack. Cable okay, tie, you tie it to the nearest point of the mouse. Okay, so we've got to tie a cable tie around here like this, I'm assuming. And you tie, I would say roughly half of the first cable tie and you tighten it. All you have to do is just cut it and it's good to go. Okay, so it seems pretty simple. We take this cable tie we put near the bottom of the mouse, we lift this one up and then somewhere along around there, we're gonna put this cable tie around, get that started and say, this is about halfway, so we'll have a go there. And we tighten that down like that. And there we go, I think that's it. And obviously we can chop the ends off. I'm actually pretty impressed with this hack. It does look really funny and I definitely wouldn't want to use this for a long period of time personally. I like to have my setup looking quite nice. However, that being said, it definitely solves the issue of the cable being on the mouse pad. As you can see, it's definitely not going to be rubbing anywhere near. And actually, I'm surprised at how far back towards the edge of the desk it can go before we actually start touching the desk. So that is actually pretty impressive. I'm pretty happy with that. That being said though, it doesn't completely fix the mouse dragging on the back of the desk issue. Two zip ties here, which most of you will already have at home, and then tape the cable to the monitor. You've got no drag immediately on the desk, and then you've got no drag on the back of the desk. I think that is actually surprisingly brilliant, and I'm going to give this a go in some games. This hack is certainly practical. I'm not a big fan of the look of it, but it is simple to do, so I'm going to give this one a 6 out of 10. And if you combine it with hack number one, then this has honestly got to be a 9 out of 10. I'm really impressed. One thing I have just noticed about this zip tie hack is it's not the easiest thing to remove. You're going to have to chop these zip ties right there up against the cable. I think I need some better scissors than this. There we go. The next one is a bit of a bonus hack. It's not really very good in my opinion and I wouldn't use it, but it is something you can try straight away for free with zero effort. So this hack just involves having the cable go this way out of the way. And if you want to be really simple, you can just put it between your fingers like that. Then you've got no drag in front of you and the cable will kind of sit here on just like a pivot point. This actually works 
surprisingly okay, but obviously you have a cable here and that's quite annoying. I give this hack though a three out of 10. It works a little bit, not as well as the other two, and it's not very comfortable. So this next hack pretty much involves making a mouse bungee out of cardboard. I found this monstrosity on instructables.com. It looks like it could work, but at least from the one they made for the instructions, certainly not the prettiest thing out there. It says there's no complex machinery to make this, which is which is really good. I, I didn't think there would be, but you never know. At this point, I was gonna show you how to make this cardboard mouse bungee, but it just took way too long and it's not that exciting to watch. If for some reason you wanna make this yourself, then it's really not that hard. I'm sure you can follow the instructions and figure it out. So there we have it. There's the final mouse bungee hack, making it DIY out of cardboard. I'm not sure what I think, to be honest. I'm gonna have to give it a two out of 10. You definitely would need to make it a bit taller. I'm still dragging on here. I guess it does kind of help with the back of the desk. You're also gonna need something to keep this still and held down. Maybe you could put your scissors in there. There we go, gives it a bit of weight. Also, my concern would be the cable rubbing through here, depending on your cable. It's probably not great for the cable. And in general, I think it looks pretty rubbish. So that's it for my mouse bungee hacks video. If you tried any of these, join my Discord and show me what you made. Personally, I don't think you'll be seeing this monstrosity on my desk anytime soon. That being said, some of these other hacks weren't too bad. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.